and welcome back to the Minecraft. Oh yeah. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That was just my audio marker, you know. And welcome back, of course, Minecraft Aftermath, we're in part 19, man, 19, it's amazing. And we are standing over the Trollification Pit. Now, last episode, if you remember, welcome back to this awesomeness of Monday. But if you remember, last time, we, uh, we created this trolling pit, and... The idea behind this was I was going to take the names of the trolls that I have collected and throw them into the pit because it uh, it's for science, you know. But it also serves as the ultimate way to crush the trolls without them being able to do anything about it, which is pretty much how trolling works on the internet in the first place. Trolls do it because there's nothing you can do about it. Well, I can because I've had it. Now I got a couple of caution comments saying that you really shouldn't be doing this and uh, mad scientists get that all the time so I know that I'm on the right track troll face but you gotta admit this is pretty a pretty big win for the good people of this world to have a way to fight the trolls without them being able to do anything about it it just it it makes me happy and I thought about it, and if I find an Enderman, I might try to toss him in here, too. Get him real mad and run at me and just fall into the pit to die. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm good like that. And the first thing I wanted to do was pick right up where we left off and make the brick walls of this thing so that it is much more secure, you know. Make it almost like a brick well. I'm not going to put any water at the bottom because... That would imply uh, that I'm uh, generous, and that I have a heart for this sort of thing, and that's that's not true at all, <laughs> you know. I hope everyone has been watching this One Can Fly's channel. Say, Sorv, you know you sound like you're starting to get obsessed with this girl. Well, I'm sorry, but uh, I really like this girl. Uh, of course, from a uh, YouTuber standpoint, I don't know what she looks like, anything about her, other than that I love her commentary style. It reminds me a lot of my own, and it's just, you know, it's awesome stuff. I'm a big fan, and I will continue to be a big fan, and you should be a big fan too, because the girl is just overwhelmed. Oh, I'll get this iron while I'm here. Troll pit yields resources. Imagine that. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah, today we are uh, gonna finish this uh, this thing up. Why did I do it like this? I'm gonna have to put this stuff back. Do I have any smoother stone? No, it's gonna have to be cobbly. It's gonna be a little little uneven. Although I could make a splat area down here uh, in this in this was Sydney. These uh, since I do have the blocks for it, these four right here be nice hard. Flat stone, or frat stone as I like to call it, and that way it'll make a nice splat when they hit the ground, you know. So yeah, I'm just going to go right around like this, and uh, that way this will go a little smoother. It won't take as long. I think we calculated that I had enough brick for this job in the last uh, video, but you never know. But I did get a lot of my cobblestone back that I had been using, and that's a really good thing. Because it means that uh, I can uh, successfully make more frat stone for the rest of the floor of this place. And make it look really awesome, you know. So there's that stack. And we're going to use this stack. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Got uh, eight blocks every time I go around this thing. Or no, 16 every time I go around this thing. So eight per layer times, uh -oh, times uh, 30 blocks deep. And that makes uh, 240 brick that I need. I I think I had that, but it's pushing it, you know. It's uh, it's hard to calculate that sort of thing because, you know, it's uh, it's anybody's guess as to how much I actually had. I know I had two stacks, which is 128 bricks, and when I say 240, so maybe we'll run a little short, but. See, I am almost to the top of this thing, so we're gonna cut it close. That's for darn sure. 
And maybe it's because I used some of that uh, brick when I uh, made the walls of this thing, just for this room in general. Uh, one of the, I think it's Dragon Noodle. He's the one that said, don't, don't anger the trolls, so I think that was a different comment. But somebody mentioned that uh, it might not be a good idea to put this thing in the same building as the girl, because, you know, you want her to be perfect, right? So, if you put the troll pit in here, that's really going to mess things up, and I didn't quite make it. That's all right, though. I have more brick melting away in the, uh, back at the house. So, we're going to go get that real fast, you know. He said it wasn't a good idea to put this in there with her, and we all know that even though I am a, a man of great expectations when it comes to uh, my girls, it's, you know, it's kind of hard to imagine her being that perfect. You know, there's got to be some flaws. So, let's see how my, my, pit, or my uh, chickens are doing here. I wonder, I wonder. There's just so many of them. <laughs> we'll try the water thing. Why not? Oh, we gotta collect this though. There goes another chicken. It's funny how I never actually see these things escape, but I just almost catch them when they're escaping. <gasps> there we go. Oh, I hate those hiccups. Whatever. Yeah, I believe I had, uh... No, maybe not. Maybe I cleared this out. I think I did. Yes, it's all coming back to me now. In the last episode, I completely got rid of the, uh... All of the clay that was in here so 35 more smooth blocks which is good and these so we're gonna have to collect a little bit of more clay I also have to make uh, another trip to kill some squid it's gonna have five ink sacks and we're gonna need a bit more than that to uh, you know do what we need to do so let's let's go back up here and uh, sleep into bed because it's nighttime and I don't know I like kind of like working during the day so we'll grab a few more cray balls. I don't need a whole ton, but I do need to put these cobbies in here. That's important. You go there, and you go there. Excellent. I still have almost two stacks of it left. I'll take it. What else? What else? These fences can go for now. The ladders I don't need. I got more iron ore. That's a good thing. More chicken feathers, of course. We need those, you know. And I got this uh, flat stones, which I can immediately convert into the stone slabs, you know. It's a good time. And I can add this to those, and this to those, you know, and one more. So I can have a nice even amount. What I should do is put a small furnace workshop over at the Dorad, but I don't know. We'll make our egg run real quick. I think I have enough inventory for this. Yes, 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 indeed. Well, I have 12 inventory slots, so... If I fill all those up, that's what? 16 times 12, 100... Something. <laughs> yeah, 144 plus 48, so... 192. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this, I can't even see there's so many chickens! You can't even see the eggs anymore, man. Maybe I will make a chicken farm basement, but... I don't know. I think I should just expand this. For some reason, I think compacting these chickens uh, makes them that much more volatile. Oh, look at this. We can make even more chickens now. <laughs> Come on, get out of the way. Oh, I can't get through. <laughs> Gotta get upstairs somehow. Oh, I made it. <laughs> Another one. Yeah, they're just pushing themselves through the fence. There's so many chickens. It's not that that there's a uh, what the oh there's an egg over here. <laughs> Might as well collect it. Randomness. We gotta love the randomness. Yeah, I think they're escaping. I think I've reached equilibrium. For anyone who knows uh, fluid dynamics and water physics, you understand what I'm talking about when I say equilibrium. I think that's what I've reached. Because I, I'm killing chickens at the rate at which they're spawning. But not for long! <laughs> yeah! More chickens! <laughs> because my game is still running at an amazing frame rate! Stretching is good. And that means that I can continue to do this. And while this is diminishing, 
I have a whole other stack of these to put in here. So we'll pop, 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 pop. <laughs> oh, I love it. I think they're firing at six eggs per second, which is maybe three, four, or no, three, four eggs per second. One, two, three, four, 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 one, yeah. Maybe four eggs per second. That's just fine with me. Rapid pulsers are a win! A win! And I just fired 288 more eggs into this chicken farm. <laughs> oh, man. I am going insane, man. This is ridiculous. ridiculous. This is about to expire. Yes. All right, good. Now we really got to watch. <laughs> oh, man. I definitely got to expand this out more. These chickens are getting unruly. I should have probably put the stairs in the middle of the thing, though. Because, yeah, this is getting getting out of hand, getting out of control. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's go back here. Oh, yeah, we got to get uh, some more cray balls. Just a little bit more. Because I exhausted my immediate clay uh, supply. I'm going to go out into the, the lake over here. It's not too far. I think it's actually connected to the ocean, if I'm not uh, entirely mistaken. But there's definitely a good resource out here of the clay. Here's some light here. Oh, yeah. So we'll just come out here and grab it all. Yeah. This is what's up. I like having these super powerful, uh, super awesome, powerful, whatever you want to call them, shovels also because they uh, they really even underwater you have like an amazing mining ability now if I had an aqua affinity helmet that would be even better because I understand you can mine faster underwater when you have aqua affinity hooked onto your uh, your business and that's the other reason why I did that at egg run because I knew my inventory would get filled there's the squids that I need everything is working out amazingly but sad to say, I am out of wolves. I do, I do have some more string that I collected in that abandoned mine, but I'd like to get some naturally if I could. And I know where the sheep are feeding. As long as I use shears, it's not such a chore. But killing the the uh, creatures like that is uh, is not very efficient because you're getting on an average 75% less wool than if you use the shears and I don't know that's just it's, it's terrible math to me why would you do that well why would I do that I've done it plenty of times already but no more so we'll cla grab this cray you know I have to be honest I really didn't have a plan for this video today other than finishing the trollification pit so uh, I know the reborn series ran to 20 episodes they were on episode 19 but I do believe that the Aftermath series is going to be a bit longer because there's still some more things we got to do, like the housing community. Obviously, I have to finish uh, the uh, Dorad, and I have to make my dream girl. I mean, I, I know I found this Alice person on YouTube, but the, the dream girl is kind of something, you know, different. That's that's a whole separate thing. You got to... You gotta know the difference between the two. Separate your business and your pleasure, you know. This video series is the business. Me associating with other YouTubers, that's pleasure. That's luxury. And, of course, we know that networking on YouTube can really help you build your channel because you're getting, uh, you're connecting with other people that have a whole set of their own subscribers and then you're linking up with them and you have your whole set of subscribers and then when you guys get together and people start noticing that you guys got together, then you share a set of subscribers. And uh, I had a request to uh, get a house made out of birch wood. So I'm going to uh, try that. I wonder if there are birch epics. Has anyone ever seen one of those? I don't know if that's possible to have a birch epic. I don't think I've ever seen one. Is it possible? I don't know if I feel like doing the science today. Ah, crap. Here we go. I can do this. There we go. <laughs> it's always one, you know. But somebody wanted a birch siding. Maybe that was Devray or Baby Baby Jesus. I don't know. One of the two. But I was a little low on the old wood supply. Two stacks of planks at this stage of the game isn't very much if you think about it. 
But uh, I don't know why I'm cutting trees out here. This is not where my, my base or anything is. Oh well. We got time. We're only halfway through the vidya. Right? Plenty more vidya to go. Vidya. Vidya. <laughs> why am I doing that? I think I'm starting to adopt this one can fly style. Even though ours are very similar. Like I was watching her one hour special today and I just I loved every minute of it because it so it reminded me so much of the way that I do these videos. And it was like a match made in heaven, man. This is great. I'm excited. I don't know about y'all. But I mean there's other good channels out there, of course. And they will be added to the affiliates as the time goes by. So that's what that is about. And I've just made a complete circle in all of this, uh, in all of this running aroundedness, if that is a word, which I just made up, and now you know it too. Oh yeah. All right. So we got this beech tree over here, and this one here, and oh, we're in the fields now. This is where we're gonna find those sheep, which means crap. I do not have my shears upon me. I should have really grabbed those before I left the house, but I didn't. Or did I break them? I can't remember. Alright, so we're in the field, which this is cool because that way it's, uh, it shows. Is this a clay ball? It is. <laughs> Just one. Just one unit of clay. That's pretty funny. Hey, you gotta get it all, right? It's Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. Alright, so a little, little patch of emptiness there. And there's a black sheep. Black sheep. Alright, good. Here's sheep here. I should start farming these for when I officially upgrade to 1.1. I have uh, a sheep farm ready, but at the same time, I don't know. I figure if I shear them now, when I do update, uh, when the mod loader is updated, which it might have been already, I don't know. But that way, they'll be ready to, to regain their wolves. Because right now, they don't! <laughs> Sword strikes again. Oh, I gotta feel that in. It looks like major creeper damage. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I don't know. Oh boy. Alright. Egg central, man. Holy crap. Well, first things first. I gotta get this, this clay in the furnace. That's important. We'll put one in the stove here. Oh, I put the iron here. That's right. And then one, two, three, four to finish that job. These are still cooking. Oh, they're almost completed. Excellent. So I'll put those in there, put these down here, and then that there, and that there, and everything will be amazingness. So we, we definitely acquired enough for this job. I got f almost five stacks of, uh, of the clay. Plus I got these here. So that's good. So we should be good. You notice all that, that coal mining that I did, and I'm already almost out of it. But... It was definitely worth it because you see how much I built in just that amount of time. And this technically needs seven. Let me see if I can get seven. Yeah, there we go. Put all these together and we'll have a single stack of 48. You see how funny how that worked out? <laughs> it is getting a little warm, though. You figure half the furnaces are burning and I start to feel the heat. Now there's, <laughs> now there's six. But I did get the iron I needed with which to shield the sheep with. <laughs> So we'll put those like that. I do have them in the in the utility furnace or the utility chest over here, right there. But I made new ones just because. Oh, hello, chicken! You got into my house and now you're dead. Oh, there's another one. They just can't get enough of this. <laughs> so we'll sleep in the bed yet again. And then you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get some more eggs, you know, because it's so hilarious. Ah, but the first thing I have to do is deposit this wood. That's important. I don't want to be carrying that around. This one I change into pranks, of course, to put in this chest for, uh, you know, that I, so that I have it, but the rest of this stuff can uh, can be sidelined because I need the room, need the real estate and my inventory for the massive amount of eggs I'm about to collect. Wow, we got a nice collection of chickens over at the stairs now. It's really starting to, to shape up here. And, of course, the unbelievable amount of eggs down here. <laughs> oh boy. I wonder if uh, the timers on the chickens growing 
are uh, dependent on the time of day or if they accelerate when you actually uh, sleep in the bed. So if you go to sleep at the beginning of the night time and you wake up, it's technically been 10 minutes game time. I don't know if that actually uh, that actually works like that, but if it does, that'd be really cool because I can't even see a darn thing. This is this is out of control, man. <laughs> so many chickens. <laughs> and every time I run through here, man, the amount of eggs I collect is more epic every time. <laughs> oh my gosh! Now I'm easily collecting 130 eggs per run, which is far far too many to be comfortable so I'm gonna grab those chests that I made even though I don't think they're in here anymore or are they are they I don't know oh well I'll make some then but I need 16 there we go I'll just make the chests because that's gotta go in the uh, in the bunker so that I may continue this effort I'll add my to my stack here totally sweet and you know what while I'm here maybe uh, maybe some of these are done oh sweet I think I might be able to get away with a stack of the of this so if I take this one stack should and I say should very cautiously should be enough chickens I do have to get that wool though alright I'll go out I'll get the wool I'll make uh, more floor I have uh, the die in here, of course. Or which one is it? Mob items. No. Which, which, where, where, where did I put it? I think I put it in the junk drawer. Maybe. No. It's not in the potions. It's not in there. Maybe the last place I looked. No. Was I carrying it? I can't remember. Well, that's right. I can't grab any more of this. <laughs> so, so much going on. Darn it. I'm going to have to put a fail-safe right there so I can get out of here. Or or stairs, but I kind of like the compactness of that. No, it's not in there. There's more iron, though. I could use that all the time. I thought I had this in here. Now I don't see it. I'm starting to think I did bring it with me. I just didn't collect very much from those squids. I think that's what it was. Oh, the chickens. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't know, maybe I'll extend this out here where the fountain was supposed to be, because that's getting a little obnoxious. Oh, hello, Dead Skellington. Too bad I can't collect your resources. I can't collect nothing. What the heck am I doing? Okay. He doesn't even have a door. Oh, this is all going to crap. <laughs> okay. I think I might actually record tomorrow's video today, so I can save a little bit of time. Alright, in you go. Tally-ho. Here we go. That's full, and then the chest, put it over here, like so, put the eggs in there. I bet you I could fill this chest in one episode. Maybe I'll try that challenge tomorrow. I'll just completely fill that chest with eggs and try to do it in a single episode. I bet I could, man, because I collect like ten stacks of them every time I run through the place. Just to uh, get an idea of the kind of eggs we're producing and the amount of time it's taking to do it. Okay, Shears, you're in the spotlight now. And I've got to eat again. Well, my armor's almost dead, isn't it? Or no, I'm only wearing the breastplate, but it is almost dead. I have to change that, you know. Alright, here we go. Gonna collect some wools. It's going to be amazing. Ow, ow. Broken leg. There's a testificate. You know we gotta get the black wool, because that's what I was using anyway. Plus four. Oh, yeah. What luck. Oh, there's another one more the better oh yeah yeah see I don't kill these sheep they'll still be here they just won't get their wool back and when I update then they will excellent stuff BAM yeah this is this is what's up I don't actually need as much wool as I'm collecting because I only have eight blocks of the the uh, ink sacks but I might as well get it now so I have to go on a major wool run later and of course there's free coal at the surface, so might as well get that while we're at it. I didn't know this was out here. This piece of barren landscape provided an excellent source of resources. What is that, plus 10 or, no, oh, plus 15. Awesome. All right. <laughs>
I'm going to run back this way, but I'm going to do it at an angle so I run into some more sheep as I approach Dorad. Or the Dorad, I guess you could say both. Doesn't really matter. Not to me. Yeah, here we go. A couple more, a couple more. Yeah, there's like eight or nine sheep out here. And then another five or six. Oh, there's another black sheep. What luck. This might actually finish the floor in, in uh, 666 Maiden Fan's house. Awesome. And then this sheep. Okay, good. I didn't share this one. And he dropped four. Awesomeness. So let's head back this away. And I guess, I suppose, I could collect a few more pieces of birch wood. I mean, why not, right? Just so epic all the time. But yeah, uh, I guess I should mention this since it's the end of the video and I've kind of been... I don't want to say boring, but I've kind of just done what I normally do, and that's play Minecraft. I know you guys enjoy the videos, but I always like to do something that really gets your mind dancing with uh, fun. And you know that there's two contests going on, the Skyblock logo con or Skyblock Extreme logo contest and the uh, the Lab Coat Sorbius contest. And we've got some great entries so far for the Lab Coat Sorbius contest. It's really awesome what you guys are doing. Uh, but we also, I want to explain a little bit about the uh, Skyblock Extreme sur uh, Survival Logo Contest. The terms of the contest where you have to create a logo that says Sky Skyblock Extreme, right? Now that, that doesn't mean you have to limit yourself to that amount of creative power. If you, uh, if you make more, that's fine. But the thing is, the full title of the map is actually... Skyblock Extreme, the last Sky Dancer. So there's actually kind of a backstory behind this because I appreciate what the person that created Skyblock did, but it's it's I don't know it's kind of annoying that they made something so so simple and so many people go gaga over it. I just I I don't follow the logic and so. Skyblock's uh, Extreme was originally designed to be kind of a parody of Skyblock, but what I've discovered is that it's it's much more than that now. I only I didn't have enough. <laughs> it's like we're not going to finish the Troll Pit in this video, but I promise you it will be done because I collected enough clay for the job. I know it. <clears throat> so while we're here, we'll do this, you know. So there's a little backstory to this Skyblock Extreme, or like Skyblock 2, I guess you could call it. But it's Skyblock Extreme, the last Sky Dancer. And as the story goes, and this is not spoiler because you get this in the readme, and on the, the post I'm going to make. And yes, I'm going to put it on Minecraft forums, and I'm going to get flamed for ripping off Skyblock, but my version is a little bit different. It's a little more like... make. You know, 20 stacks of cactus. What the heck is that? That's so, you know, not original. Anybody can do that. We need to make challenges that not only force you to, because that's a lot of waiting. You know, you can't bone meal that stuff. And I'm sure they designed it that way because they figured, well, if if you make it like that, then it, uh, you know, you have to do other stuff that you wait for. But no, waiting is lame. Nobody likes to wait. We like to be able to think on the fly and, pro and problem solve. So Skyblock Extreme, the last Sky Dancer, is all about uh, you are a Sky Dancer. You belong to this people, but all of the people that used to do Sky Dancing as a sport died off. Uh, nice, this is looking sweet. They died off because they all fell off the islands. You are the last hope. If you cannot solve the riddles of the Sky, of the Skyblock, uh, there's no hope left. So the, obviously one of the things is don't die. <clears throat> but, uh... Yeah, oh, I see. Somebody suggested that they're jumping off the ladder. That's possible, but I didn't know they could use ladders. Anyway, the, uh, the last guy... You are the last sky dancer, and you must get to the end of the challenges. There's seven islands that you have to traverse to, all of which have unique challenges. And obviously some of them are similar, like it tells you what to craft, but it's really just to move the story along. It tells you what to do, but not how to do it, so you got to figure it out. And what I've come up with, I think, is, is nothing shy of, of ingenious, just like the first one. I mean no disrespect to the original creator, but your challenges are lame. And that is my rant about that. So, 
You can say my challenges are lame after you play Skyblock Extreme, the last Sky Dancer. So, you guys have an awesome, awesome day. And I am going to go be awesome myself. But I thank you for watching. Next episode, stuff is going to happen. And keep those entries coming in because we are just rocking it. And I'm going to bed. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah.